hey guys welcome back to automation elon in this video i am going to discuss one more important feature on github that is pull request template so guys when you create a pull request as a contributor or as a user to the project repository when you initiate a new pull request you want to give a pre-populated fields for your contributor to provide information about the pr and the changes for example this is the pr pr number 14 and it has all the typical changes and everything but here if you notice in the description section i have few pre-populated fields like instruction description team to review and reference so as a contributor as a as a user i am the owner of this particular pr and while raising the PR, while creating this PR, I'll be getting these pre-populated fields to update. Here we have instruction, like I'm getting an instruction from the, the person who is managing this repository, who is managing this particular project. So the instruction is make sure to add the change log for the changes in the PR. So this is what I have to ensure. So this is what I'm getting as an instruction. And there is a description which I need to put because I am the one who is going to create this PR. So I am proposing to merge few changes from demo branch to master branch. So I have to mention what this change is all about. So I can mention something like this change is about fixing the bug mentioned in the ticket and we can mention the ticket number. Team to review if it is applicable which team should review this then also you can mention the team name or reference to the relative issues so one of the issue can be what you have mentioned in the description and there are many other tickets which are related to this particular change for a reference you can mention all those tickets so these details would help the reviewer to understand more about the change that you are proposing here in this PR and these are not some standard fields here but you can give anything whatever detail you want your contributor to update here to provide information you can mention the same fields over here so to have such kind of pre-populated fields in the PR while creating the PR then you can achieve this using github pull request template all these are the pre-populated fields you must define your own set of template like i said these are not something standard whatever information you want to mention over here you want your contributor to update you can make your own template and then the same template same fields will be shown over here for the contributor so for that we have to make the template at the root of the project so this is the topic we will understand how to create the template and how we can use it here while raising the PR. So let's understand this in action. So let's go to root of the project. So this is the one of the sample project that I am referring git reset and here I have to create one template. So when I say template it is going to be one of the file. So using this option I can add a new file. So let's choose this option create a new file and I have to give a name and few description over here and here what I am doing is I am going to create my own template so that going ahead whosoever will raise the PR they will get all those populated fields. So here I have a few sample I mean the same thing what I have shown in the in the example PR. So I can give instruction and I will write it like I want each contributor to make sure that they are adding the change log for the changes that they are proposing in the PR and I am giving a description I leave it as is so that the user contributor should update this team to review they should update the name of the team and they should provide detail about all the issues which are related to the proposed change and uh, I can click here I can see how it will look like on the PR page and likewise you can add any other field as well for example I want to give here one more 
let's say I want to make it very generic saying other details. So apart from all these details, if someone wants to mention some other detail also, then they are free to update here under this field. And also the structure or the syntax of this can be anything. You don't need to follow the same pattern. It can be in any other pattern also. I will show you in few seconds. And what should be the name of this file? So name should be very specific to full request template. So the name of the file should be this full request template separated by underscore dot md because this is going to be one of the document file. So we have to name it as a dot md file. All right. So I have given a name and I have given the description. This is what we created. So this is my template which I want to give to all the user who are going to create a pull request under this project git reset and uh, let's commit the changes so all right i'm directly committing to the master branch commit changes and under the root of the project if you see here i have new file pull request template.md and let's see so this is the content of it here it's not showing the detail properly we need to format it little bit so that we can see properly here in the preview but let's give a try let's create one pr and see whether we are getting this template these fields pre-populated over there or not so let's go to home page of the project git reset and look at the branches available and here i have a demo branch and uh, let's make some changes over here then we will raise the pull request for example let's edit this i'll just add sample content over here sample content to verify pull request template for example commit the changes so this change i am committing into demo branch and i am done with the changes now i want to create the pull request i want to raise the pull request so that i can propose to merge the changes from demo branch to master branch so for the demo branch let's create pull request and see here we are getting the same details what we have mentioned in the template so all these details are coming from our pull request template okay as a owner of this particular pr what i am going to create i need to make sure that i have added the change log okay consider i am good here as a description i need to give a description this change is about fixing the bug mentioned in some ticket number so whosoever is going to review this PR they can easily refer this ticket to understand more about the issue team to review which team is going to which team should review this for example automation team reference to the relative tickets so one of the reference can be the same what we have mentioned here and if there are any other ticket you can mention those also for example this is the another ticket which is quite related to this particular change in the in this pr other details if you have to apart from these if you have to mention any other details like you want to give some extra information then you can use this over here and this is the heading of the pr so if you want you can change this and uh, down the line you can see the the changes this is the only change that we have added and now i'm going to create the pull request so these details are coming from our pull request template if our project do not have this particular file dot md file then we will not get anything over here in the description but just because all these details as per the requirement i have mentioned in my pull request template so 
the same fields are pre-populated over here and as a contributor as a user i must provide all these information while raising the pull request so this is also one of the good practice good feature good way to ask your contributor to provide all these details up front so whatever you think is very important to know for the reviewer or for the project manager to know in advance along with the pr then all those details can be mentioned here in the pull request template so now i have given all the details and create pull request so see here same has been recorded and just because i have not given anything for other details i am not seeing anything but for the rest of the the fields i have given the details and which is recorded over here yeah and let's say you created this pull request and after that you want to change anything here for example you want to add one more ticket number here then you can click here edit and again you can add it over here for example i want to say ticket abc 99 is also related to this particular change and update the comment and for the rest of the feature and the step like requesting for the for the review and then merging it would be the same so let's modify our template further so that we can enhance this description we can change the format and all so open this file dot md and this has extension as a md it means all the github markup everything we can apply over here so edit it let's say i don't want to give like this i want to give in terms of headings so i will make the changes so double hash is something like in html file when you see h1 h2 s3 and when you preview this see it is going to look like this so we have given two hash double hash before instruction so we are getting this as a heading and your description will come here so if i will increase the hash over here then see the size of instruction is less compared to description similarly if i'll put one hash then its size will be bigger than other so likewise we can apply all the markup feature over here also to enhance the look of our template file so it is going to look like this so let's make it similar i'll use double hash across the fields and i'll commit it commit it to master so now if someone will raise the pr new pr it is going to look like this and if they give detail about description field they can also see something like this so here you can also apply many other features like you want to give some check boxes like you want to mention 10 items with the check box and you want your contributor your user to check what has been achieved and what is not achieved something like this so you can enhance this to give more flexibility to the contributor who is raising PR to your repository. So this was all about GitHub pull request template. There are a couple of things that we need to note here. The template that you created like this one is only applicable to the default branch. So in my case here master is my default branch. So if there is a PR coming from other branch to master branch like here here the changes are coming from demo branch and request is to merge it into master which is the default branch so if the changes are targeting to my default branch then only user will see this fields over here 
so the pull request template that you have defined is only applicable to the default branch in your repository this is the first point second point is the name of the pull request template file so here the name of the file should be this only pull request template separated by underscore dot md or you can also mention txt but then all these formatting would not be applied over there this name is not case sensitive if you want you can also write this in caps or so but name should be this one so these are the two important points that we need to remember this template would only work for your default branch in your project repository and name of the template file is not case sensitive you can also write here in caps and extension also you can change if you want from md to txt or you can also keep txt all right guys so that was all about pull request template on github i hope you have learned something new today from this video please reach out to me if you have any doubt or other questions please subscribe to this channel to learn many other concepts and features thank you for running this one thank you